We've never tried one before. It's so ticklish. She's doing some crazy jumps off. Good morning and welcome to Sikyo Island everyone. After what should have been a two hour travel day yesterday turned into a 12 hour full day of travel. <laughs> Geographically the island is close to Cebu Island but we had to take numerous buses, tricycles and ferries just to get to the island. We are currently headed south, walking towards Liloan Port. We are going to be getting a ferry to Sikiho. Sikio. Sikio today. Really excited about this one. Uh, we've seen it on YouTube, and it doesn't look like somewhere that most people tend to go when they come to the Philippines. I may be wrong, but we hadn't heard of it before. Uh, so, really excited for this one. Yeah, the aim is just to flag a bus down when they're going past. Now, they are running because we've seen one come the other way. But yeah, when it comes, we're going to try to flag it down and jump on. If not, we're going to miss the ferry. <laughs> yes, we got it. Hello. 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 Okay, so far so good. Now we've just got a queue in this pretty long queue to get two tickets for the next ferry. Hey guys, we have been queuing, I'm not even lying, for about five hours for a ferry ticket. Absolutely crazy. Because it's Holy Week and it's the long weekend. It's just crazy busy. Don't know what time we'll get in, but we were gonna have like an afternoon planned exploring Sikyo, but... Nothing's that fun. It is what it is, we can't do that, so let's get some food. It's been a long day. I can't wait to get into the hotel now. We woke up this morning, we rented our little bike here. We haven't given this one a name, we normally do, we'd have to think of one. Well, we've come to our first stop of the day, which is... Paliton Beach. Now there's two beaches really really close to each other. There's Paliton Beach and there's Kang Bizio Beach. I may, I've probably said that wrong. I'm copying it off Google Maps. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go check it out. Someone has got a drone up in the air. Jealous. We will be getting a drone soon. Yeah, but even from here, the water looks incredible. Bad weather the last couple of days, so that could be why this is the first sunny day I've ever been in the Philippines. First sunny day, and there's hardly no clouds in the sky. One thing I've noticed about the Philippines, even though we've only been to two beaches this one and the one in Morval, there's a lot of coral, so it seems to be really good for like snorkeling, scuba diving, maybe further out. Yeah, um, as compared to I don't want to make a comparison to Thailand, but. In Thailand, you've just got like beaches where you would just sort of relax and swim and... Yeah, the coral is actually really close to the shore as well. So even if you weren't a strong swimmer and you've never been snorkeling or anything like that before, you could easily do it here and still be touching the floor. Like we're a couple of steps in, but it's only up to our knees and the coral is probably only another five steps away. There's also a few different sort of shops along the beachfront where you can pick up beers or drinks. We might do food as well. Definitely got coconut. Okay, so guys, one thing we've noticed about the Philippines is they have coconuts everywhere. There's coconut trees absolutely everywhere as well. And they just serve them on the side of the road or in a little hut on the beach. We've never tried one before, so we've picked one up. We're hoping we like it. <laughs> and it was only 60 pesos, which is less than a pound. We've never actually tried coconut water from like a bottle back home either. I never have, anyway, have you? I never have, no. 
and give it a first try. Ooh, it smell like much. Ooh, I've never tasted anything like it before. No? Is it cold? You've got to like proper suck to get it up. I don't know if that's the straw. Could be the straw. This is a paper straw. It's not cold, no. No? No. Oh, I thought it was going to be cold. Oh my god, oh my gosh, it's so heavy! <laughs> That's not what I expected. That's not what I expected either. That's... This thing's so heavy. I thought it was going to be way sweeter. Yeah, it's just, it tastes like flavoured water almost, like a flavour yeah. of water. Well, coconut flavour water, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty good though. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Nice that this place actually is and quite relaxing. There's actually quite a few people here. Um, there's loads of food places as you've just seen, but we've got loads more stops we want to visit today because we are only on the island for a day. So we're going to head to the next stop now. Okay guys, check out this view that we've got here. And we're having food right here. What a place for lunch. Look how big this pizza is. That's my hand, <laughs> compared to it. Yeah, really relaxing, yeah? What was the place called? It was called Trattoria Carbonara. And we literally just came across it as we were riding on the bike. I think we found a good spot. I don't know if you can hear us because the water is so powerful. But we've come to Lugnason Falls. Lugnason Falls. Yeah. You didn't uh, have to pay anything to get in. It was just a little walk down through the forest and just come across this little gem. It does seem like there's quite a lot of water come in because obviously the rain over the past few days. And there's a few people here, they're all doing some cliff jumps and some rope swing jumps and stuff. Basically, the rocks have made these big pools and it seems to go, keep going down like steps all the way down the river. I uh, in the middle of like a jungle. It's awesome. Yes, yeah, so we were just driving along and there was loads of bikes parked up. So we decided to stop and check it out. There's, it's a place called the Enchanted Tree and there's a big like pond with loads of the fish in that bite your feet and eat all the dead skin. So we paid 20 pesos each to get in and we're just kind of chilling. Having our feet eaten by fish. But they're not like the ones you see like on holiday in Europe. They're probably like bite your feet. They're like big these ones are, like the ones that we've had before. They're like tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Loads of people here, all very relaxingly soaking their feet, can I say? And we're just and we're laughing like, and giggling because it's so tickling. It's true the tree as well, it's a proper cool tree. Yeah, which I'm, we're going to presume is the enchanted tree because it literally does look like something from a fairy tale, doesn't it? Yeah. That was a pretty unique stop, but we're going to head to the next spot, which is about 15 minutes drive away. So we're getting back on our little trusty bike that we haven't named yet. We've made it to Kamugwai Falls. We think that's how you say it. We're probably saying it wrong, but it's definitely the most popular spot of the day. 
We've heard of this one before, haven't we? Yeah, we have heard, and we've seen it online in a couple of videos too. Yeah. There's 135 steps to get down, and it's quite slippery. Hold on, there's a barrier, so that's good. Yeah, this is definitely the busiest spot we've been to today. There's quite a few people here. There's loads of people swimming, and there's also two rope swings. There's a smaller one, and there's a larger one. And, and we're uh, doing some crazy jumps off. how big the place actually was so we've got the main pool with the two big rope swings down the bottom and then there's about five pools up until this top deck and it's quieter up here but a bit more shallow and then there's a rope swing on the next one there's a cliff jump on the next one down and then you've got the main one then with the two big rope swings and it looks as if there's another pool right on the bottom as well but yeah it's actually really cool i didn't realize how big it was but it is awfully crowded because it's a holiday. It is Good Friday today. So there's lots of people here. If you could get this place on like a quiet day, you could have so much fun. Okay guys, we're back in the hotel room now. We'll give you a quick tour just to show you where we're staying. We're staying in a place called James Homestay. I think it works out to be about 14, 15 pounds a night. Excuse the mess over here, but we've got a double bed. We've got this one just chilling here. Uh, I'm just editing a video here. And then <laughs> that's the mess, but we've got some cabinet space. And then this is the bathroom and the best thing, we've got a hot water shower. But anyway, that's our one day of exploring. Sick you're done. We didn't actually get towards the sunset either. We were planning on it, but as it was getting close to the time, the sky was just all clouds. So we didn't get to catch a good sunset this time, but I'm sure we will at some point in the Philippines. But anyway, we are going to end it here. We are moving on to the next island tomorrow. Hopefully we have a nice easy travel day, not a 12 hour one again. If you are new around here, please hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we will see you again. Hey, that's rude. Tomorrow. <laughs>